Hi, my name is Ben, and I'm a crypto trader since 2017. Uh, I normally make videos about the trading bot and how to use signals to uh, become profitable. Uh, but today I wanted to show you something about the Bitcoin rainbow chart. Uh, I'll explain to you what a rainbow chart is and how you can use it uh, to your advantage and what it can say about the current market situation. Okay, so let's dive straight into it. So this is um, what they call a rainbow chart. And the reason they call it a rainbow chart is because it's got this nice color of the rainbow. Now, it's not just pretty colors. Uh, it also tells us something about uh, the market. Basically, what the rainbow chart is, is a logarithmic regression line. So I use the full history of Bitcoin against the US dollar on the weekly uh, chart. And then I've enabled the logarithmic scale. And then you can draw a logarithmic curve uh, along the points where Bitcoin bottomed out. So you can see here that this line, especially this line, is drawn across the curve and it touches uh, a lot. So you can see the price go up and down, up and down, and it hardly ever goes through the bottom of this line. Now we only saw it briefly here and we saw it briefly here and we're seeing it currently. So what does it actually mean to uh, have this logarithmic curve? Well, if you ask me, it says something about the, uh, the fair value of Bitcoin. Now, what do I mean by the fair value of Bitcoin? Obviously, uh, during these cycles, you get to uh, situations where Bitcoin goes up so fast that you kind of get a feeling that it's a bubble. And that bubble is going to burst at some point. Which uh, people have said so many times, like, oh, Bitcoin is in a bubble, it's going to crash, and then it's going to go all the way down to zero. Well, the crashes have happened, but all the way down to zero have not. And why is that? Uh, because after such a crash, it usually returns back to fair value. So the fair value of Bitcoin is the, the more realistic value of Bitcoin. So during these really big spikes, you could say that Bitcoin is, is overvalued. So a lot of people are buying it just for the sake of buying it. And it's not really in line with the actual value of Bitcoin. But then when it drops back down, then you can see that, that it, it's being picked up uh, and, and the price is stopped so the, the price movement down is stopped and we could argue that that's the fair value of bitcoin so if we draw a line across that throughout the chart then you can see that this is kind of like the fair value of bitcoin obviously it's not an exact line and it's not an exact space for bitcoin to be in so there's a little bit of a range so we can see like this little green part and then the blue one and then the, the big blue part and this band is like the really lower band. And if, if it moves in here, you could argue that it's undervalued because it's trading below the fair value. Okay, so this is something that we can use to determine the fair value. But how is that useful to us right now? Well, in a way, it's possible to determine if the current value of Bitcoin is undervalued and if we may have reached the bottom. And if we look at this regression line, one could argue that we are currently uh, bottomed out. And then we bottomed out around sixteen and a half thousand dollars. That doesn't mean that we're now fully at the bottom and it, it can't retouch that same uh, uh, price level again. Of course it can. So it could probably, it, it can still go down to the sixteen and a half thousand, um, but it's unlikely that it will go down even low. Unlikely doesn't mean impossible. There's always new situations happening, so it could still break out of this one. Uh, who knows? But if we look at the history and the time, we can see that it never really did that. So we could make a sort of educated guess that this is now the bottom. And it can still go back to 16,500, so that we still have time to, to, to buy some more. Um, but there's a good chance that it's, it will continue to go back up. Now, if you look at this chart, you may wonder, like, what are these lines right here? Well, these, these uh, vertical lines, they correspond to the Bitcoin halving. So the halving event is where the miners of Bitcoin, their rewards are reduced by half, meaning that there will be less Bitcoin coming into circulation every day. Uh, and also the rewards are less. So that means that the miners would, uh, would be incentivized to uh, ensure that the price goes up. So how are the Bitcoin halvings and the fair value correlated? Well, as we can see in the history of time, 
then we can see that during the Bitcoin halvings, Bitcoin was trading around the fair value. And it was trading around the fair value. And it was trading around the fair value. So what can we say about the halving in 2024 that is still coming? Well, if history continues, then it will be trading around the fair value. Now, if we continue to draw these lines, and uh, then we can see that uh, around the 2024 line, uh, it'll roughly be around the 30 to 50 thousand uh, dollars for the lowest fair value. Uh, so that means that if you would buy now, um, then there's a high probability that in 2024 you made uh, a nice profit. So how reliable uh, is this uh, logarithmic regression line? Well, it's reliable in the sense that when Bitcoin is trading at the bottom parts of the logarithmic regression, is where you can say something useful about it. You can use it to make an educated guess about the bottom of Bitcoin. However, the, uh, the prices are still pretty big difference. Like, like between these price levels, it's still 50%. So that's, that's quite a bit, bit of a percentage difference. So it's kind of hard to trade it properly. But we can still use it to determine, like, is this the bottom or not? And when the price continues to move upwards, we can also say that we can use it to uh, start selling our Bitcoin uh, because it's overvalued. So it's trading far away from the fair value. And if it's trading far away from the fair value, we can see in historic uh, parts of the chart that the price will go down. And the price will go down a lot. So selling parts of your Bitcoin position uh, to be able to buy back when it reaches the fair value again is definitely a good idea. Now, today we only looked at the rainbow chart for Bitcoin, and uh, it's also possible to use this on other markets. Um, so we'll have a look at the logarithmic regression for Ethereum in the next video. All right, so that's it for today's video. If you like these videos, if you like these uh, new technical analysis uh, deep dives, then please leave a like and let me know what you think and what you would like to see in the next videos. And then I can provide you with some more useful information on trading cryptocurrency. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you again on the next video.